Hello everyone and welcome to CE101 and today's topic is deflection of beams using double integration method part 3 So ito na yung last part ng video natin which is UVL, uniformly varying load So to proceed meron tayong example dito So solve the deflection at the free end of this beam So ano ba yung beam na ito? So ito ay cantilever beam Ang cantilever beam is may fixed support and free end sa dulo niya So ano ba ang fixed support dito? Ayan yung A and yung free end natin is B. So, ang pinapahanap dito sa problem na to ay yung deflection at the free end which is yung B. So, first step para mag-start mag tayo is yung paghanap ng reactions dito sa support natin. So, ilan ang reaction sa fixed support? So, tatlo yon. Meron tayong moment, meron tayong horizontal, and meron tayong vertical. So, una natin kukunin is yung moment reaction natin. So, moment reaction at A is equal to 0 with counterclockwise as positive. So, negative 5 times 12 times 1 half ng 12. So, ito yung UDL natin. So, yung, ito yung UDL natin which is 5 kN meter. kN per meter. So, negative 5 times 12 is fan times 1 half times 12 yung moment arm natin from A. So, ito na yung UVL. So, negative 1 half times 12 times 20. So, bakit naging negative 1 half times 12 times 20? Parang kumukuha lang tayo ng area ng triangle natin dyan. So, negative 1 half times yung base na 12 meters times 20 na height. So, bakit naging 20 yung height? So, take note, yung figure natin dito sa beam na ito is trapezoid. So, pag bakit naging 20 is because nag-minus tayo ng UDL natin sa baba. So, matitira dito sa triangle height natin is 20. Kaya naging 20 kN per meter. So, times 2 thirds ng 12. So, bakit two, times 2 thirds ng 12 yung MA natin or yung moment arm natin? So, 2 thirds from A yan. So, from the centroid, eh, from, the A, from A tapos to the centroid is 2 thirds. Tapos, 1 third siya from B. So, 2 thirds ang kukunin natin kasi nagmoment tayo sa A. So, 2 thirds times 12 plus MA is equal to 0. So, solving for MA is equal to 1,320 kN meter. Next is, vertical reaction FY is equal to 0. So, pag nag equation tayo dyan, AY pataas, assume natin, minus 5 times 12, yung force natin para dito sa UDL minus 1 half times 12 times 20, para yung force natin sa UDL is equal to 0. So, yung AY natin is equal to solving for AY, 180 kN. So, meron pa tayong isa pang reaction which is yung AX. So, summation of FX is equal to 0, simply AX is equal to 0 kasi wala namang kumukontrang ibang forces sa horizontal natin. So next step, magkakat na tayo arbitrarily dito sa section na ito sa right side ng beam natin or kahit saan dito sa beam natin. So pag nagkat tayo arbitrarily, magkakaroon tayo ng distance na X. So meron na tayong reaction na 1320 kN na, na moment tapos pataas na 180 kN. So, meron tayong 5 kN per meter din na UDL pero yung triangle natin is not 20 kN per meter anymore. So, meron na tayong tinatawag na Y kasi nag-cut tayo dyan. So, hindi pa rin the same yan kasi hindi pa rin yan yung full height ng triangle natin. So, ang gagawin natin dyan is mayiging Y siya. So, paano masolve yung Y? So, gagawin natin dapat siyang in terms of X. So, paano gagawin natin in terms of X? So, from the original figure, itong triangle na ito, tapos itong triangle na to, mag-ratio and proportion tayo. So, ratio and proportion, ito yon So, pag nag-ratio and proportion tayo ng triangle, so, 20 kN per meter, tapos yung 12 meters na span. So, dito yon Tinanggal na natin yung 5 kN meter na UTL sa baba. So, pag ayan, ginamit natin is equal to yung kinat nating triangle which is yung x na arbitrarily tapos yung y na height niya so pag inequate natin dalawang yan so 20 over 12 is equal to y over x pag in terms natin ng x magiging 20 over 12 times x is equal to 5 3 ng x so simplified na yung 5 3 ng x so yung y natin dito is yung 
5 over 3x na siya. So, pwede na tayo magsimula ng double integration method. So, para mag-start yun, so mag-moment tayo dito sa cut version natin dito. So, MB ang tawag na natin dyan sa moment na yan. So, to start, MB is equal to 0. So, counterclockwise is positive again. So, 1,320 x raised to 0. Bakit naging x raised to 0? So, yung x raised to 0 na yan, moment na yung 1,320. So, wala na siyang distance dapat. Kaya, x raised to 0. So, magta times 1 lang daw siya. So, 1,320 kN meter pa rin siya. 1 minus 180 times x, 180 pa clockwise yung direction niya, times yung x na distance niya. Plus 5 times x, times x over 2. So, 5 times x yung span niya ng UDL natin, times x over 2 yung moment arm from MB. Plus 1 half times x, times 5 third ng x. So, 1 half yung triangle natin, times yung distance na x, times yung 5 thirds na height ng triangle natin. Times x over 3. So, bakit x over 3? Moment arm ng triangle natin. So, moment arm ng triangle natin is 1 third from B. So, 1 third from MB. So, x over 3 plus MB is equal to 0. So, MB, pag inaayos natin yung equation natin, is equal to negative 1,320 plus 180 times x minus 5 halves x squared minus 5 over 18 x cubed So, ito na yung MB natin. So, para magsimula yung double integration method natin, magiging MB is equal to EIY double prime. So, yung EIY double prime, yan yung tinatawag na moment equation din natin. So, ikakopy lang natin yung MB dito, magiging EIY double prime naman siya. So, negative 1,320 plus 180x minus 5 halves x squared minus 5 over 18x cubed. So, to start, mag-integrate na tayo. So, EIY double prime, pag in-integrate natin, magiging EIY prime. So, pag EIY prime is equal to negative 1,320 times x plus 180 over 2 times times x squared minus 5 over 6 times x cubed minus 5 over 72 x raised to 4 plus c1. So, meron na tayong constant kasi nag-integrate na tayo. So, ang tawag na natin dito is yung slope equation natin because this is EIY prime. So, ayusin lang natin EIY prime, EIY prime natin may naging negative 1,320 times x plus 90 x squared minus 5 over 6 x cubed minus 5 over 72 x raised to 4 plus c1. So, ito na yung slope equation natin. So, ang pinapahanap sa problem is yung deflection at the free end. So, deflection. So, kailangan pa natin mag-integrate ulit para mahanap naman yung deflection equation. So, pag in-integrate natin ulit yung EIY prime, magiging EIY na siya. So, EIY is equal to negative 1,320 over 2 times x squared plus 90 over 3 x cubed minus 5 over 24 x raised to 4 minus 5 over 360 times x raised to 5 plus c1 x plus c2 na dagdagan na isa pang constant. So, ayusin lang natin yung EIY or deflection equation natin may iging EIY is equal to negative 660 times x squared plus 30 times x cubed minus 5 over 24 x raised to 4 minus 1 over 72 x raised to 5 plus c1x plus c2. So, c1 and c2. Hindi pa natin to fully deflection equation dahil meron pa tayong mga constants na given. So, paano maanap yung constants? So, magpa-boundaries tayo. So, ang boundary conditions natin dito is making fixed. So, ang sinabi natin sa mga last parts ng video natin is simply supported beams. So, ito, fixed beam or cantilever beam. So, ang boundary conditions is magsisimula lagi sa support. So, ang support natin is yung fixed support. So, saan ba nakalocate yung fixed support natin? Di ba sa distance 0? So, x is equal to 0. So, ang deflection natin dito sa fixed support natin is equal to 0 din. So, therefore, C2 is equal to 
So, anong pangalawa natin boundary conditions? So, x is equal to 0 pa rin kasi fixed lang ang, ang support natin. Tapos, yung sumunod naman is y prime is equal to 0. So, ano yung y prime? So, yung y prime, ayan yung slope. So, sa sl pag fixed support, ang slope natin is equals lagi, lagi sa 0. So, take note of that. y prime is equal to 0 pag fixed support. So, therefore, C1 is equal to 0. So, pag inaisa natin yung deflection equation natin, yung C1 at C2 ay 0. So, EIY is equal to negative 660 times x squared plus 30 times x cubed minus 5 over 24 x raised to 4 minus 1, 1 over 72 times x raised to 5. So, ito na yung fully deflection equation natin. So, ito na, mahanap na natin yung deflection at free end or yung at B. So, ano ba yung distance from B? So, ito yung 12 meters. So, x is equal to 12 meters. Substitute lang natin sa bawat x ng equation natin. So, EIY is equal to negative 660 times 12 raised to 2 plus 30 times 12 raised to 3 minus 5 over 24 times 12 raised to 4 minus 1 over 72 times 12 raised to 5. So, pag sinolve lang natin yung EIY natin may negative 50,976 kilonewton times m cube. So, ayusin lang natin, may iging deflection siya. So, EIY is equal to negative EIS. So, EI deflection is equal to 50,976 kilonewton m cube. Pababa. So, pababa yung deflection natin. So, this is our answer for the deflection at the free end.